what am I supposed to do with all this? We'll take care of that. Uh, give me a little bit of light here and uh, kind of get you accustomed to what the uh, room up there. That's good. Um, if you're here today for the very first time, we don't do it like this normally at all. Uh, we're completely out of program and all that, but we do have a special presentation we're going to be doing today. But we would like to uh, be able to pray for you still. Uh, if this is your first time here, I want you to do something uh, real easy. Just remain seated right there where you're at. If you've been here before, uh, let's stand up all over the building. Fellas, where y'all at? There you are. They're going to find you seated. If you're seated, they're going to come and put a packet of information into your hand and be praying with you and for you uh, for any need that you may have. And we would love to be able to encourage you. To, uh, help him out right here. Uh, all right. Um, this guy right here is... Uh, you got to watch these guys here. Uh, I tell you, we've got good and evil, and I'll let you figure out which one's which. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, if you're here today for the first time, let's welcome any of our first-time guests this morning with a hand clap. while they go through. Uh, as you can tell, it's going to be dark, so if you need to use the restroom, you need to do that right away uh, because it's going to be very dark. Uh, this is not a very long presentation, uh, so if you need to use the restroom, you probably want to go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, also, if you have a child and you feel like uh, that a little bit of loudness and there's a couple little scary type scenes uh, that are in here, uh, we do have a nursery available also. Our children's church is available, and so we would love uh, for you to take care of that. If you feel like that, that's going to be uh, scary uh, for them, um, then uh, you, you may want to uh, be sure to take care of that. All right. Uh, also, yeah, we, we do have some uh, some smoke uh, that's in a scene here. Uh, it's it shouldn't be too bad up, uh, in the back, but there will be a little bit of a haze about. If you're allergic to things like that and that bothers you, you might want to uh, get to the back, uh, but it, it's not really too bad. And so uh, keep those things in mind. And uh, we're going to, at the end, we're going to have an offering. And uh, if you saw your bulletin, uh, we were, last week was a bad hit as far as giving. And uh, I, I asked you all to pray about what you could give. Next week, uh, we're going to put give a challenge. Uh, toward giving, and so, um, but you, I want you to pray uh, and give today, if the Lord puts it in your heart to give, uh, and you have uh, to give, let's certainly uh, give together and do that, all right? Uh, remember, after the service, we've got some hot dogs that are available all the way out, right on the front porch there, um, you can get that, and that's available to everyone, and so be sure uh, that you take care of that, and uh, I believe that's everything that I need to make mention of at this time. So you can go ahead and have a seat, and um, we're going to have a word of prayer and ask uh, that the Lord will touch us and help us uh, uh, during this time uh, together, and that uh, He will uh, speak to hearts and speak to lives. Uh, let's do this. Um, Brother Robert, right there where you're at, stand up and pray real loud. Father, we love you. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, all. God, that you do for us. Thank you, dear Father, for every home and every family, God, that's represented here today. Father, I pray, God, that you bless the drama this morning. Father, I pray, God, that you'd reach hearts and lives, God, today. And Father, let us not leave this place in the same way that we came. And Father, I pray, God, that you'd challenge our hearts and minds. Forgive us where we failed you. And Lord, we love you and thank you for all that you do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Meet Suzanne and Kelly. Kelly has just turned 17. Her mom and dad never had any problems with her until she became a teenager. When she turned 13, she started hanging around with some bad friends. Her mom and dad knew the friends were trouble and forbid her from hanging around them. But she snuck around and did it anyway. The Kelly you meet tonight is not the same person she was four years ago. Her mom made her go to youth camp last month, and during the invitation, Kelly fell under conviction. She realized she was lost, 
but she did not move. She told herself she had more time. She was only 17. She even told one of her friends she would get saved when she was old. she had done many times before. While in church, an officer interrupted the service to talk to Suzanne. Kelly had been killed in the car accident. Her boyfriend, John, had too much to drink and came around the curve too fast. The police said the car went 100 feet in the air before it landed on its top. The accident paralyzed John from the neck down and killed Kelly instantly. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. <laughs>
best friends. They've been friends since the day they met in first grade 50 years ago. Yeah, Janet, I'm, I'm a good person. I've been in church all my life. God wouldn't see me to hell. It is appointed unto me once to die, but after this, the judgment. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in this world.
every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. And desiring to be fed from the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover, 
the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, <coughs> seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Two weeks later, Linda got a call while she was at work, saying she needed to come to the hospital immediately. By the time she got there, it was too late. While at work, Mark had suffered an aneurysm. An autopsy revealed Mark truly was in perfect health. But a doctor told Linda that sadly, sometimes these things just happen. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Then will I possess unto them, I never knew you. I deserve another chain. Come on, 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 come
is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. to God as I used to be. 
I'm not as close to God as I was at one time. I want you just to bow your head right there where you're at. I wonder how many of us just be honest enough to raise our hand and say, you know what, preacher, you're talking to me. I'm not as close to God as I need to be. We see those. We see those. Somebody else, we see those hands going up. I'm not as close to God as I need to be, as I should be. Here's my hand to God. Many hands are going up all over the building. God knows your heart. We're going to have prayer in just a moment. But maybe you're here uh, this morning and say, Preacher, I do not know for sure, I do not know without a shadow of a doubt, that if I were to die, if it was my story, if it was my life that was being portrayed and acted out, well, I don't know for sure that I won't, wouldn't go through those charred gates and charred walls of the dam. Lord, I need God in my life. I need to know without a shadow of a doubt that if I were to die, I know where I'd spend eternity with heads bowed and eyes closed. You're here tonight or this morning and you say, Preacher, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to embarrass you and call you out in any kind of way. And I'll ask you this. If God's speaking to your heart and you say, Preacher, I'm not 100% sure, I want you to just raise your hand and put it right back down. Raise your hand. Put it, thank you. We see those. Somebody else. Thank you. Uh, Lord, is there somebody else? Just put it up. Put it right back down. Preacher, would you pray for me? I'm not 100% sure. I do not know. We saw a few hands here uh, this morning. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you, if you said, I know I'm saved, preacher. I've been saved. I've been washed in the blood. Listen, let me help, help me with a little bit of lights up here on the stage, if you will. I've been washed in the blood, preacher. I know I'm saved, but I'm not where I need to be while she's playing. I wonder how many of us would slip out. How many of us slip out and come and say, oh God, here I come. Here I come. I know I'm saved, but I'm not where I need to be. Come on. You raised your hand. God's speaking to your heart. How many of us Christians will come and find a place at this altar? You say, well, I wouldn't go down there. That's, that's what this altar is for. Come on. We ra you raised your hand. Uh, we want to get closer to God. I don't know about you, but I want to leave this place differently than I came every week. I want to be closer to God. I want for God to have more of me. And I want to give myself more to Him every week and every day of my life. I want for God to get praise and honor and glory out of my life. Christian, we're coming. We're praying. Now, while these are praying, while these are asking God to work in their life and work on their behalf, I want to ask and I want to talk to you just a minute. You raised your hand. I'm not 100% sure about this thing of salvation. I do not know without a shadow of a doubt if I were to die right now, I do not know where I'd spend eternity. While these are praying, can I ask you, can I talk to you? Preacher, preacher, I really need to know. I want to know what it's like to be saved. I want to know what it's like not to have to worry about it. I'm going to pray a prayer that I prayed many years ago. Someone led me in this prayer. And their words did not save me. It was my words from a broken and contrite heart that saved me. And your words can do the same. If you need Christ in your life, I want you to pray with me. Dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've failed you. I've messed up. I've done wrong. And I'm asking you to forgive me. I'm asking you to come into my heart and change me. Wash me in your precious blood. Make me whole. Make me new. I believe you love me. I believe you died for me. And Jesus, I want to do my best to live for you. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you prayed a prayer like that and you meant it in your heart, I want you just to raise your hand. Preacher, I prayed and I asked Jesus to be, thank you, there's one. I asked Jesus to be my Savior this morning. Is there somebody else? There's another. Is there somebody else? Preacher, I prayed and I asked Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior uh, this morning. Is there, any, is there somebody else? With heads bowed and eyes closed, I've got a booklet here we prepared. And I want to, to share it with you. I want to give you one and we're going to have somebody come and pray with you. If you raised your hand and you know God's dealing with your heart, I want you to come join me right now here at the front, right here at the altar. Come on. Preacher, I believe God is calling me. I believe God's working in my life and working in my heart. Come on. We need some ladies. We got uh, two ladies right here. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. There you go. Sit right there. Uh, 
Miss Leah, I think uh, Miss Dana. Um, we've got some material right there uh, over here. There's some, there's some Bible verses on the back of that uh, on the back of that board there uh, that you can share. Somebody else. There's maybe some others. You raised your hand, preacher. I do not know for sure that I'm saved. Preacher, I need God in my life. Is there somebody else? While God's stealing, while God's drawing, while God's speaking, don't leave him. The old song said, do not pass me by. God may never come by this way again. He may never, may never speak to your heart again. You, you may be like the young girl said, I got more time. I get saved when I get old. God may never give you another opportunity. Right now, God's drawing you. Right now, God's speaking to you. Would you come? We'd love to take a Bible and show you what it means to be saved. They're just going to play just a little bit more. Would you come? God, speak to our hearts. I pray, God, we can't leave this place without having done business with you. I thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Oh, we love you. Thank you, God, for speaking to hearts this morning. God, do in the hearts and lives of every person, Lord, that that you purposed and that that you wanted to do in our hearts. Oh, God, help us here in this place. We love you. We bless you. We magnify you. In the mighty name, in that name that is above, above every name, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, God, help us, Lord, in this hour. We bless you. We thank you for all you've done. God, touch us in Jesus' name. Good day. 
uh, that one of these days cancer won't be a bad word anymore. Amen. It excites me to think about that heart disease and a heart attack and a stroke and all that and all this stuff that we get used to hearing nowadays won't be anything to fear anymore. It excites me to think about that the other undertaker one day is going to be out and out of a job. I'm glad one of these days I'm going to a land where there's no more death, no more sorrow, no more dying. What a day! Yeah. 